Hello everyone, welcome back, and now let's talk about CryptoPunks and other NFT uh, use cases, not only CryptoPunks. There are many different, very interesting use cases out there. Um, NFTs is allowing us to create digital virtual assets for fine art, for trading, for trading cards, for, for anything that you can imagine that is... Um, a digital scarce asset. Um, but let's talk. Uh, let's talk. Uh, start by uh, looking at CryptoPunks. CryptoPunks is actually was actually created prior to CryptoKitties, and um, I know that we are going to be talking a lot like these games. They they may look silly for some people. For other people, are not silly because people are paying actually quite a lot of money for these CryptoPunks and CryptoKitties and digital art. So it's not that silly. Um, and you can also have real world assets being tokenized. But let's look first at the uh, easiest cases that we have here. So CryptoPunks was really the first, I believe the first um, NFT project created in 2017 using the ERC721 standard. It, it was created by Larva Labs uh, and they created initially 10,000 unique collectible characters. They created these 10,000 of these these punks that were distributed uh, for free initially and uh, some of them are now traded for millions of dollars okay so not that silly if you if you look here you have here the uh, largest sales this crypto punk here is worth more than seven million dollars okay and this purple hat here is my favorite uh, but I don't think I have enough money to buy it because it's worth seven hundred seven hundred and sixty one thousand dollars crazy right okay then we have crypto kitties uh crypto kitties uh, is another big hit uh, and some crypto kitties are also being traded for close to a million dollars um so i think you can you can we can search for crypto kitties for sale and you can buy and sell them and they can breed these crypto kitties and each crypto kitty has a different attribute now, uh, CryptoKitties are way cheaper. You can buy like a CryptoKitty for a few US dollars. Um, and I'm also, also thinking about buying some. Not financial advice. This is just a game for fun, of course. But uh, it's also very interesting to see the different uses uh, in, in games. <clears throat> then you have uh, Sorare. Um, or Sorare. Yeah, I think it's. You can, I'm spelling it correctly. Um, it's basically a fantasy football game licensed by the football clubs and each player represents an ERC721 token and you can buy these cards and collect them and, and, and play these cards. Um, I'm not like a big um, fantasy football fan but uh, fantasy football is around, around in the market already for, for many years and it's very interesting to see um, this coming also to the ERC721 market and to the NFTs market. Then we have also, um, oh, this website seems to be not, not to be working, but you have the uh, Ethereum naming service and unstoppable um, domains. And basically these are domains that uh, finish in .eth and it can be used for different purposes. It can be used to receive crypto instead of having like that long string, that long hash. You can have a domain that is more intelligible uh, to um, to receive, uh, here we have, uh, to interact with the blockchain and also you can uh, host like, for example, a website and they are sensor resistant and immutable, which is cool. Um, let me let me start closing some of these here. Um, Gods and Chains. Gods and Chains is another cool card that allows users to uh, trade uh, um, cards represented by ERC721 um, uh, uh, tokens. In 2009, players spent 87 billion. Wow, this is crazy. Uh, I don't know exactly how do you play this, but it's another cool game, I think, uh, where you can use these uh, tokens, these ERC721 tokens. And then you have also very well-known 
Decentraland. Decentraland is a virtual reality platform uh, well, where the users can buy virtual land in, and monetize content in this virtual land. And this virtual land is also uh, represented by ERC721 tokens, uh, NFTs. And then they have like a few small projects like Binance, um, these Binance collectibles. It was like a um, festive um, cars and you can also buy and sell them. Some of these are now available on uh, OpenSea in some of the uh, markets, uh, marketplaces for NFTs. Uh, My Cryptons is also a, a, a fun one where you can like buy and sell like these um, these like uh, uh, politic related uh, cards and you can buy and sell them and, and uh, yeah basically yeah it's cool <laughs> oh I think I want to buy Melania Trump 1.9 ether okay <laughs> anyway then you have like nifty gateways nifty gateway is a marketplace to buy and sell NFTs for brand creators and artists we are going to look later at the different marketplaces and we are going to look at other uh, marketplaces like super rare and uh, OpenSea. and finally lock game legends of crypto legends of crypto it allows users to also to collect unique cards and play with them and uh, click collect and play these cards that are um that represent uh, people very well known people from the uh, crypto market. Uh, okay, hope you can see some use cases here. Uh, um, this is not far from being an exhaustive list. Uh, there are many, many other possible use cases, but at the moment, these are the ones that have the uh, biggest hype in the market, and this is where uh, like the big uh, NFT hype is coming from.